Do you have a cup? No. Okay. That could be a problem. <laughs> I, I do have one that you can borrow. Okay. And it's clean. Cool. I think it's clean. extra small. <laughs> yeah. Perfect. It's actually very big. <laughs> Thursday, and um, I've organized to have a Krav Maga lesson with Eddie Rivas, who's one of the writers for The No, and he's a Krav Maga instructor, and I've recruited a fellow trainee. That's me. For this exercise, and we're both gonna learn Krav Maga together. Yeah, we're gonna be human weapons. Yes, that's definitely what we're gonna be, and what's gonna happen. So I think what I'm actually gonna do is that Eddie needed someone to demonstrate all the stuff on so that I can learn it. And so I'm gonna beat Miles up, basically. He doesn't exactly know that. What? So we're really fortunate to have Eddie uh, instructing us with this because he's a qualified Krav Maga instructor. This isn't like a, this is super easy, try this at home kind of thing. This is gonna, this has like a lot of context of like very specific self-defense techniques about it. So. This is basically a don't try this at home. <laughs> uh, and Eddie is gonna give us like a little more information on that again and about Krav Maga and about what he does. Said crash pat that Miles is super excited about. <laughs> I'm gonna test it out. Yeah, you are. Oh, so this is Eddie. You guys probably know him from the No and other things. So what exactly, can you give us an outline of what exact, what that small puzzle piece is that we're gonna do today? Sure. Uh, and why so Miles is here? <laughs> we're gonna work our way up to defending um, against a gun uh, to the front and then defending against a knife and working some disarms for those. Uh, we'll start with some basic strikes, working our way up through the system. One of the cool things about Krav Maga is that all the pieces of the system work together to chain kind of up the line so you learn one simple thing. That's so cool. Moves its way up to the thing. Uh, we're going to treat this like a class if I could ask you guys. Totally okay to have fun with this. Yeah. But because we're working with weapons, uh, things that could hurt you or kill you, let's not clown around with the weapons. Treat them seriously. Um, train it like they're real, train it like they're live. Be serious. We'll make your training better. I, I, noticed, that that totally I noticed that entire part of the like monologue was directed solely at yeah. me, and I understand and respect that. Yes. <laughs> you know me. <laughs> Yo, what do you think you're here for? Exactly? Well, it's different than what I thought it was earlier today. <laughs> but I'm just as pumped. You're gonna get I, I'm going to be part of a... a oh, okay. Uh, I was going to say I'm just, <laughs> just as enthused as ever, but I'm really not. Yeah? We'll see how you feel about that milk war in a minute. Oh, <laughs> that's what this shit's about. Is this because I made you do rewrites the other day? Yeah, probably. Fuck! I've just been instructed by Eddie that Miles is going to appreciate if I take my shoes off. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> so, uh, first thing we're going to do... As long as we can get you holding the pad. Okay. We're going to hold the pad here tight to your chest. You're going to keep your elbows pinned in nice and tight here. First thing we're going to do, we're going to work some punches. Not vertical, not horizontal. Here. <laughs> Five degrees. Top two knuckles. Elbow behind him. One second, elbow behind him. Go ahead and switch your feet. And as you're doing this, also make sure that I'm not hyper extending my arm here. I want to leave a slight bend in my elbow so I can penetrate through just a little like two to three inches okay. when I'm following through cool. with the punch. That's the motion to keep your hands safe and we'll talk about everything else as we go. Gotcha. So Miles, what you're gonna do, you're gonna keep the pad down, down here. Okay. When you want Ellie to hit, you're gonna pop it back up to your chest. She's gonna throw two punches. <laughs> Doesn't get easier. <laughs> She's gonna bring it back down. Okay. And every time you want her to punch, you just bring it back up one, two, then okay. reset. But we'll keep All your right. hands nice and high in between each one. Distance. <laughs> All right. Nice punches. Yeah. Again. Good, a few more. Good. Sponges were our medium range. Now we're going to work our long range. I want you to bend here, hold, add right about your neck. I'm doing it anyway, I'm into it. Keep it here. Okay. Don't completely straighten them out, but okay. don't leave it too relaxed here. Okay. So, next thing, working. Hit. <laughs> so, that's what I so, without the pad. Without the pad? Yeah, I'm not actually gonna kick you. Please don't. <laughs> without the pad, my goal here, I can kick with the ball of my foot, boom, <laughs> boom, or I can kick with my shin if I'm a little bit closer. Uh -huh. This is really nice for a groin kick. Nice. Real nice for a groin kick. My really goal nice when I'm throwing with the shin 
I just want to kick fucking all the way up from the shin through his head to the roof. Bobby Hill that shit. Oh my god, it's so scary being on the other so, end of this. So, we're about to do this drill where I put together what I just learned and beat Mars up. Cool. Right, ready? Yeah. Okay. Two. One. Good lord. Yeah. Two. One. Four. One. One. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Two. Alright, so today is a huge tough up day for Ellie. I want her to get to the point where she will be an excellent bodyguard. I mean, when things go south, you gotta be ready to step up, you know what I'm saying? So, today, we have Ellie. Ready? Learning Krav Maga. Hi, Bernie. Hi, Bernie. How are you doing? Doing good. Doing fine. Yeah? yeah. Ellie, you're not or Eddie, you're not working hard enough. All right, well, I can only interrupt Eddie so many times with dumb jokes before he puts me in a chokehold. So, I'm gonna let them do that. Because that seems dangerous, which is exactly the kind of stuff I think Ellie should be doing on a regular basis. Dangerous stuff. Meat shield. That's her new job. Stay between me and the danger. <laughs> so, we are going to take those things we learned and translate them up the system to a gun. Problem that we're going to deal with, don't put your finger in the trigger, right? right? Problem that we're going to deal with here is just pistol from the front. Okay. Here, pointing at me. Thank you. Again, don't put your finger in the trigger. Right. Thing that I really want to do, I want to use my hand. It's the quickest tool that I have to deflect. Right. I need to redirect the barrel. I need to get it away from me. Second thing I have is my body. Uh -huh. I want to get my hand to deflect the barrel, and I want to get my body out of the way of the pistol. Yeah. Here, my hand is kind of obscured by his arm here. So together, oh. same time, hand, body. Pistol's mm -hmm. pointing away. So from here, hand, body, pointing the pistol away here. Mm -hmm. My other hand is gonna come up near my face, and then I'm gonna grab the back of the hammer here. Okay. One slide, one of the hammer. That's gonna give me double control. Hand, body, boom. But I haven't started hurting Miles yet. So from here, <laughs> oh Jesus Christ. Hand, body, yeah. double control, same time. Boom, boom. Cool. Throwing those kicks that we were working earlier, mm -hmm. bang. Also, totally fine solution from here. I can kick him till he throws up and he's on the ground. Totally fine. Totally solution. fine. Totally fine. Until totally he fine decides solution. I don't want to hold on to this fucking gun anymore because I'm just doing this, <laughs> putting him on the ground. Because I can't have children. Yeah. Okay. So then nice. I'm, I'm really like holding that. Yeah. yeah, make your weight talk to the gun. <sighs> Good. Another quick tweak. If I'm here, throw this, and I end up here, if his finger's in, if I'm pulling like this, yeah. I'm actually pulling into his grip. Yeah. He actually has a stronger hold on it. So from here, if you need to, pop it out. Ooh. That's why you don't have the finger in there right now. So, I don't even want to hold the gun anymore. Yeah, so from here, yeah. need to make sure it's 90 degrees. Here. Oh. That's why the finger is not staying in the trigger when we practice with this. Bang. Now step. Because you could like break a finger. Yep. Man. Yeah. So from here, go ahead and do the whole thing, kick me in the balls. <laughs> Whoa! If that kick sends me to the ground, <laughs> now this gun is pointed back at you. So, Mama. that's why the weight has to be setting forward. So Watch even that, okay. if that dynamic movement, here, boom, go and hold oh, down right. after I kick you. Right. Right. So, yeah, I mean, the first time we did this, Miles went to the ground. So, yeah, I did. Yeah. Right. So I'll just try so to remember that. So, I'm getting my weight here. When I want to take it, I want to let go. That was oddly sensual. That was very <laughs> This is like a man instinct thing to do as soon as it comes near that. They're yeah. like, all right, done. Yeah. So what's nice about this, we've got other solutions if the gun is off to the side or different angles. If it's here, there are all kinds of other variations we can do, but there's a lot to be said for training the thing that you're really competent in and you can adapt it, mm -hmm. right? So if the gun's over here, I can do the same thing. I just have to spin on my hips a little bit more. Right, okay, right? yeah. Bang, bang, yeah. and then throwing that kick. If the gun is off to the front a little bit here, boom. I'm just gonna have to get my hips involved and yeah. reach for and I have to make sure it's in hand reach. So if this is off to the side, I can do all these things yeah. that I just trained here and I can work it into different. Behind will be a little bit different, but if you can talk your way to turning over to the side mm -hmm. and go for it, you can do the same thing. If okay. you're dealing with a VIP situation, protecting Bernie, someone's here pointing the gun, you're next to him, you yeah. can do the same Ooh, thing. Ooh, okay, yeah. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Okay, let's just need some money. Oh, oh, nice. Uh, that was awesome. Lady, I don't want no trouble. I don't want no trouble, lady. Miles, not to self. Don't ever trust Ellie again. 
So, um, you can see I'm like real sweaty. I just did my first hour of Krav Maga and my arms feel like noodles. <laughs> and thank you so much, Eddie. Eddie's an amazing instructor. Are you actually teach in town? Yes, I teach at a place called Lions Krav Maga here in Austin. I'm an instructor there part-time. See part -time. shirt. There place. it is, Lions Krav Maga. That's so cool. How long have you been doing it for? Uh, seven years. Seven years. So in seven years you can move like a muscly scorpion. <laughs> like, like Eddie. <laughs> Would you say that review is fair, Miles? I think it's a very, uh, very uh, yeah. How scary is it when Eddie comes at you? You don't even, like, it's like being at the opposite end of, like, a cannon. Right. And you just don't know, you don't know if the cannon's gonna, like, kick you in the nuts or break your wrist. One of, but it's one of those things. It's one of those things. All right. Um, hey, Eddie, we've got a writer's meeting in, like, an hour or so, right? Yeah, yeah. I think I'm gonna need you to do a few more revisions more on revisions. Yeah. That makes sense. That makes sense. Well, fair. Uh -huh. Oh my gosh, I actually have to, like, lie down. <laughs> my arms hurt so much. I can't be a tripod anymore.